Welcome to HodgePodge, where timeless charm meets modern crochet. Today we're going old school with a project that's close to my heart, a sweet crochet baby bear crafted in a delightful vintage style. This little bear is not just any old toy, it's a keepsake steeped in the warmth and nostalgia of yesteryear. Whether you're a seasoned crocheter or just beginning your crochet journey, this project is sure to inspire and delight. So grab your yarn and hooks and travel back in time to create something truly adorable and cherished. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more cozy crochet creations. This adorable teddy bear was crocheted in a super bulky six. But if you don't have that weight yarn, you can crochet this in any yarn. It always comes out adorable. Let me show you. This baby bear was crocheted in double-stranded worsted weight yarn. Isn't he cute? He's a little bit smaller than the super bulky, but that's to be expected when you go down a little bit in yarn size. And this baby bear was done single-stranded in worsted weight yarn. How adorable is this one? It's the tiniest of the bunch, but also equally adorable. For today's hook, I'm using a size K 6.5 millimeter, but you can use any size hook that you feel most comfortable with. I'm also using 16 millimeter safety eyes. If you're making a smaller bear, use smaller eyes. For the yarn today, I'm using Bernat Softy Chunky. It's a super bulky six weight yarn. And the color is true gray. We'll begin our project by making the muzzle. So we'll start with a magic ring. This is how I make mine. You can make yours however you feel most comfortable. And we'll chain two. That does not count as a stitch. In the magic ring we'll work 10 half double crochet. Pull the ring to close, pull it tight. And we'll count the stitches just to make sure we've got them all. And then we'll join to the top of the first half double crochet. So this is the way that I like to join my muzzle. I'll just pull this yarn through from the back of the stitch and then finish off. Now we'll put the muzzle to the side and work on the head and body. So in a magic ring we'll chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and then we'll work eight single crochet in the ring. We're going to be working the head and the body in continuous rounds, so when you finish your eight single crochet, we're not going to join, we're going to use a stitch marker. Pull the ring to close. Round two, we're going to work two single crochet in each single crochet around. Gonna put my stitch marker in the first stitch. And then we'll just continue the round. For round three, we're going to single crochet in the next single crochet. Put our stitch marker back in. And then we'll work two single crochet in the next single crochet. And we'll work in this manner all the way around. Single crochet in the next single crochet, two single crochet in the next single crochet around. And at the end of round three, you should have 24 single crochet.
Now all we're doing for rounds four through eight is growing the head. So we'll just single crochet in each single crochet around. Make sure you're moving your stitch marker and keeping track of these rounds. We're going to go all the way around. Single crochet in each stitch. Now I've made it to round eight, and this is what my head is looking like. I'm going to grab a needle really quickly and take care of that beginning tail. It's easier to do it now before you start decreasing. It's also important to weave in that tail really well so your project doesn't come apart. Now I'll just snip the tail and we're done with that part. Just flip that right side out. And we can move on to round nine. Let's move our stitch marker really quickly. And for round nine, we're going to begin with a single crochet two together. So in order to do that, we're going to single crochet over these two stitches right here. We're going to go through the front loop of the first stitch and the front loop of the second stitch just like that so we have these two front loops on our hook we'll yarn over and pull through and then work a single crochet put our stitch marker back in now in the next stitch we'll single crochet then we'll single crochet two together. Catching those front loops. Yarn over and pull through and work a single crochet. And then single crochet in the next. So we'll work in this manner all the way around the round. Single crochet two together, single crochet in the next, all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have 16 single crochet. Now I'll pull up a loop here and pause. So let's count these rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You want to begin your muzzle on round seven right here. So this is where the muzzle will go. We'll take our muzzle and before I put my muzzle on, I'm going to get some black yarn and double strand it onto a needle, just like this. And then I'll create a little V and embroider a nose on the muzzle. Now you don't have to do this, this is completely optional. You can use a safety nose if you'd rather do that. I just didn't have a safety nose on hand that was large enough to fit the face. So I'll embroider one really quickly. This is what my nose looks like after I'm finished. Isn't it cute? 
I'll just snip my yarn and I'll hide these tails behind the nose when I sew it onto the head. So I'll thread this tail from the muzzle onto my yarn needle. And we'll get to the work of sewing it on. I'm not going to bore you with sewing. Sewing is pretty straightforward. You just go through the stitches, go through the head, and hold on to the nose with your thumb or your finger, and just sew. I just like to pinch the nose on really tightly, go through a couple of stitches on the muzzle, then go through the head, just like this. Just making sure that the nose is straight. I'll work up and down really slowly till you've got the nose positioned the way you like it. And there's my nose sewn on. Now I'll just weave the tail and I'll, I'll, I'll just put the tail right into the head. I won't even cut it off. Next come the safety eyes. You can embroider safety eyes if you wanted to, or you can crochet your own. I have amigurumi eyes here on my YouTube channel. You could use those instead. But I think I'm going to use safety eyes for this little bear. I think they look cute. And just position them on either side of the muzzle. I'm having a little trouble with this one, but it's going to go in. Let's see. There we go. How sweet is that? So adorable. Now we'll just put the backs on the safety eyes. I put the round part down toward the fabric and push. We'll do the second eye really quickly. Make sure they're secure. And there they are. Next we'll grab some stuffing and we'll stuff the head. Now I like to make sure that the head is stuffed firmly and give it some shape as I'm going. So I'll push in the center and push out towards the outer edges. I think I want a little bit more. And notice I'm going in through the center and pushing out towards the outside edges. It gives the head a little bit more of a rounded shape. There we go. Isn't it sweet? Okay, let's move on to round 10. Now for round 10, we're going to single crochet two together. These two stitches right here. Remember, when you're single crocheting two together, you want to grab those front loops. We'll put our marker in. Then we're going to single crochet in each of the next two single crochet. One and two. So for round 10, it's single crochet two together, single crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And when you finish this round, you should have 12 single crochet total.
Round 11 will grow the neck. So all we'll do for this round is single crochet in each single crochet around. For round 12, we'll single crochet in the next two single crochet, and then work two single crochet in the next single crochet. At the end of round 12, you should have 16 single crochet total. For round 13, we'll single crochet in the next three single crochet, and then two single crochet in the next single crochet, all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have 20 single crochet. Now for rounds 14 through 21, we'll just grow the body by single crocheting in each single crochet around. Oops, I forgot my stitch marker. I'm just gonna pop that in really quick, right here. And don't forget to keep track of your rounds so you don't lose your place. I finished the body up to round 21 and put a little highlight behind the eyes. All I did was thread a little bit of white yarn and sew around the eye. Now all that's left is to stuff the body and close it off. When I'm stuffing, I like to push from the center and then push outward to create a nice rounded shape. I'm not going to overstuff him, but um, I think I will add more stuffing after the next round. So round 22 is pretty simple. We're just going to single crochet two together all the way around.
I think I'm gonna add a little bit more stuffing just to round out the bottom. happy with that. Now the last round, round 23, begins with a single crochet three together. Now just like with the single crochet two together, we're just going to go through those front loops, but this time we're going to pick up three of them. So one, two, and three front loops. So you should have three front loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those front loops and then work a single crochet. We'll single crochet in the next single crochet and then for the rest of the round we'll work a single crochet two together, single crochet in the next and you should be left with six single crochet at the end of round 23. just move my marker and the way I like to finish off my round is to slip stitch in the next stitch and then finish off. Make sure you're leaving a long tail for sewing. It doesn't have to be too long but a long enough tail. So now we'll get our yarn needle and thread our tail onto it. And then I'm going to go through the tops of these stitches here, just around the tops of the stitches, all six of them, just like this. There's one, there's another one, just catching the top loops of those stitches. Now once I've got them all, I'm just going to pull and push with my thumb at the same time. And that should create a nice flat bottom for you. Now just weave in your end. Give it a little smush. And cut off your tail. Now that's the head and the body complete, along with the muzzle. Isn't he sweet? Now we'll make the ears. To begin the ears, we'll start with a magic ring and a chain one. The chain one does not count as a stitch. In the magic ring, we'll work eight half double crochet and a slip stitch. a slip stitch right here. We'll pull the ring to close and then we'll cut our yarn leaving a tail for sewing. And don't forget you want to make two of these unless you want a one-eared bear. Now to finish this ear off I like to tie the tails together 
so I know it won't come apart. And this is the way I like to tie. Loop around twice and pull. So now I have two ears. And next we'll work on the arms. To begin the arms, we'll make a magic ring and a chain one. The chain one does not count as a stitch. In the ring, we'll work nine single crochet. Now we're going to work this like we work the body. We will not join. We're just going to work in a continual round. So we'll pull that tight to close. Make sure you have nine stitches. And we're just going to grow the arm now. So for rounds two through five, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet around. There's my arm. And now we'll give the arm a little bit of shape. So for round six, we're gonna start with a single crochet, two together, twice. So there's our first single crochet, two together. I'm gonna put a marker in. And there's our second single crochet, two together. Now we'll single crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And then we'll work two single crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And we'll work a single crochet in that last single crochet right there. He should still have a total of nine single crochet at the end of round six. And now round seven through ten will just single crochet in each single crochet around. At the end of round ten you can finish off leaving a long tail for sewing and if you wanted to stuff I would stuff lightly. I, I usually don't stuff my arms and legs but it's completely optional. If you feel like it needs a little bit of stuffing feel free. There's the a finished arm. You can see it's got a little bit of a bend to it. So it will hug the body a little bit better than just a straight arm poking out of the side. And I like to finish off by doing a slip stitch in the next stitch. And then just finishing off. Now don't forget to make another arm for the other side. There's my second arm finished. A little bit of a bend to it. Now we'll begin the legs. To start the legs, we'll make a magic ring and chain one. The chain one does not count as a stitch. Then we'll work 12 single crochet in the ring. And just like with the arms and the body and the head, we're not gonna join, we're gonna work in a continual round.
I'm just going to count my stitches here to make sure that I've got them all. Okay. And now all we're going to do is grow the leg. So for rounds two through six, we'll single crochet in each single crochet around. There's my leg up to round six. So now we're going to give the leg a little bit of shape for round seven. We're going to single crochet two together three times. There's one. Put that stitch marker back in. Here's two. Right there. And here's the third single crochet two together right here. Now we'll just single crochet in each of the next six single crochet. At the end of round seven, you should have nine single crochet total. Now for rounds 8 through 13, all we'll do is grow the rest of the leg. So you'll work one single crochet in each single crochet around. And at the end of round 13, you'll finish off leaving a long tail for sewing, and it's optional to stuff lightly. There's our leg finished. Isn't it cute? Now, don't forget to make two of them, so you'll have to make another one. And I like to finish off by slip stitching in the next stitch, cutting the tail, and then just finishing off. And there's my second leg complete. Put that with the first one and just put them to the side for now. Next we'll work on the tail. So to work the tail we'll begin with a magic ring and we'll chain four. This counts as a stitch. One, two, three, four. Now in the magic ring, we'll work four treble crochet. Now we'll work a slip stitch in the ring, just like that, and we'll pull to tighten. Now we'll finish off leaving a tail. Now I like to tie this just to make sure it's not going anywhere. You don't have to, but I just, I prefer it that way. So I'm gonna wrap the yarn around twice and pull.
Now that we've got all of our parts complete, we can sew them onto the bear. We've got our ears, our legs, our arms, and our tail, and our bear. So I'm gonna position the ears on the top of the head, and then I'm just gonna sew them in. Once we've got our ear on, and we're happy with the way it looks, we'll just take our yarn needle and we'll go through the back of a stitch here. Any stitch will work. And we'll work our yarn needle through the back of the head and pull. There we go. And we'll do the same thing for the other tail. Just work it through the back of a stitch, through the back of the head, and pull. And then we'll just cut those tails off. And there the first ear is attached. Now we'll do the same thing for the other side for the second ear. And when you're happy with the way your ear looks, we'll just take our yarn needle and work it through the back, back of the head. So we'll go through a stitch behind the ear and work it through the back of the head through another stitch and pull. We'll do the same thing with the other tail. Go through a stitch in the back of the head, like this, and pull. And then we'll just cut the tails off. And this is what your bear should be looking like with its ears on. Isn't it cute? I think it's adorable. Now all that's left to do is put on its arms, legs, and tail. Now we'll work with the arms. Now I like to cinch up the top of the legs and the arms. It makes it a little bit easier to sew onto the body later on. So this is how I do it. I just go through the front loop and the back loop and just whip stitch across. Now I'll just sew the arm to the body. Once you get your arm sewn to the body, I like to actually sew the front of the arm to the body itself so it stays in one position. This is completely optional. You, you do not have to do this if you don't want to. You can just let your arm do its thing. But this is how I do it. I pick up stitches on the body, and then I pick up stitches on the arm, just like this. 
and sew them together. See how it, it kind of, when you do it that way, it keeps the arm close to the body. So it's not flopping everywhere. Now all that's left is to do the same thing to the other arm. Now we have both arms attached, we can work on the legs. Just going to snip this tail right here. Now to work on the legs, I whip stitch the opening closed and I just position them a little bit further back on the bottom here so that the, the bear has something to sit on. Once you're happy with where the leg is, just sew it in place. Now we'll do the same thing with the second leg. Hold your leg in place with your finger and sew it in place. There we are. So both legs are attached and all that's left is the tail. So to put the tail on, we'll position it on the bottom of the bear's body. I'm gonna flip him around here. And we'll just pick up stitches on the tail and weave it into the body. There's the tail attached. Just gonna fix it a little bit. There we are. Look how cute. Now we'll just get rid of the tail here by weaving it through the back. And this tail too. go through a stitch here on the bottom and go up through the back and then I'll cut those tails and there we have it our charming vintage style crochet baby bear a bundle of nostalgia and love in every stitch. Thank you for joining me on this delightful crochet adventure. I hope this little bear brings as much joy to you as it does to me. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe to HodgePodge Crochet. I have plenty more heartwarming projects to share. Keep those hooks flying and until next time, happy crocheting and may your days be filled with comfort, creativity, and cuddly bears.